One person in Detroit, last week, he made a million dollars from listening to one of my songs. I'll see you in the hay. Today, on this show that we did today, I came up with a great song. Was, what was the name of it called? This is the happiest day of my life. And I woke up in the morning and my children were well behaved. I looked in the mirror and my face was already shaved. It's the happiest day of my life today. And you know, everyone was kind of happy and had the bass, but they weren't really happy because we were pretending that I was this guy in a band. Well, actually, one of the, the keyboard player played for many years with Julio Iglesias when he was just a kid. This guy is very young now. And Julio would, would act sexy, and then he'd look behind, shh, don't. And then he'd present himself as, you know, sort of nicer to the audience than he really was to the band. I always repair a lot of my flaws in my records because they bug me. But when I do them live, they happen so quickly, I don't have time to ruminate over them. And I think it's the destruction of the flaws that uh, make for a less good album. Nothing inspires like money. A lot of artists will not go in this direction. They will not tell you this because it doesn't sound right. It's a very mercenary point of view. Some of my most tender songs, songs that people have written me letters about, songs that they've gotten through disease and, and tribulation through, have been born of the most prosaic circumstances. I had a volunteer from the audience, it was in Philadelphia, I think. She was to pretend that she was a seal pup in the birth canal of her mother. And she was be being born onto an ice floe, and the band was behind, and I was sort of directing the scene. And she was there, and or, 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 I mean, she was getting into it. She's actually a very good looking woman, um, not making a fool of herself, but really reaching into her to, uh, some deep place within her and and now she was coming through the narrow birth passage and it was putting pressure on her head and her whiskers were all full of this moisture and and then finally she emerged onto the silence of the ice flow and the crowd was mesmerized and it was just a really great moment at a rock show for this experiment i'm going to put my hand into this thing. I don't even know what it is. And I'm going to pull out a card, and on the card is a word, and I'm going to make up a song before your very eyes and ears. You might think this is all a hoax, a ruse. You might think it was planned for several days or weeks. But the truth is, and you're going to have to trust me, there's nothing I can do to make you trust me. I can't reach out and smack you or throttle you. I wouldn't do that anyway, because I'm a very gentle man. But trust me, this word on this card, these mini cards that I'm reaching in with my right hand, it could say anything. This card? No. This card. It says, Great Underwear Scare. This is a song called the, I'll put it back, The Great Underwear Scare. Would anyone like it in a minor key or major? It's up to you. Major? I like it in minor. I don't care. Y2K is coming I can hear the thundering I can hear the sounds of evil drumming And I'm well aware of the great underwear scare I ain't got no undies My Calvin Klein is gone And it, it blows my mind Well, underwear is a precious commodity in the state Underwear, if it's sexy, it can make you feel great. But if you ain't got some, don't worry. I can get some underground in a hurry. Yeah, I'm talking about the fact that I'm aware it's a great underwear scare. Maybe you 
can find a pair under the chair. It's the great underwear scare. Elvis wore him. In fact, Costa tore him. His last stand, man, can't you understand? It's a great underwear scare. And even there, wherever there really is, I'm sure they're wearing underwear there too. Should we try another song? This is called Among the Anacondas. Who made these? Great. There's a girl, her last name is Stein, she looks fine. Her first name is Rhonda, she spends her time with anacondas. Anacondas live where the pythons don't. They can collide, but you know they won't. This is a story of Rhonda living among the anacondas. When anacondas are babies, they're awfully small They look so cute, they don't scare anyone at all But when they grow, well that's the start of the show And you will not be around, you'll be digested like a clump of dough Within the stomach of the anaconda, this is a story about Rhonda Riding on a Suzuki, she don't like Honda She likes the Japanese bikes, yeah, that's what she likes Anaconda with Rhonda Anacondas live by the river Somewhere in South America Perhaps Peru or Brazil If you're looking for something to blow your mind If you're looking for the ultimate thrill Go find one Go find one that's long If you're feeling strong, you can't go wrong You belong with Rhonda And she's living among the anacondas tonight Everybody's serving the robot king He calls out and anyone will do anything He asks, he's got so many difficult tasks They think the robot king has a brain Yeah, but he's got no more heart than an electric train He's the robot king don't mean anything to me. Robot King, he's a rock and roll star. Robot King got eyes in his feet and he knows who you are. Robot King, I won't serve you anymore. I'd rather serve a robot power saw.